Hey there, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel Strickland. My YouTube channel is all about me living and affording the life that I want to by basically selling things on eBay, Poshmark, and whatnot. I buy low and sell high, which means I get my products from thrift stores, auction houses, estate sales, basically anywhere I can find something that is undervalued that I can flip online for big money. In today's video, I am definitely talking about big money because I am going over 10 items that I've sold for over $100 a piece on eBay, and some of them are well over $100. So let's get straight into it. These are 10 items I just sold on eBay for over $100. Alrighty. I'm gonna go in ascending order from the lowest price to the highest price item of these 10 items that sold for over $100 a piece. The very first item that I'm gonna talk to you guys about is something I guarantee you've seen this past year in the thrift store. It's possible you had no idea its value, but after this video, you're going to. This is a wooden valet rack, and while you can still buy these today, the vintage ones really hold their value, especially if they're made in Germany, made in Italy. This particular one was marked made in Italy, and it hinged and folded up in the coolest way. So I was sure to showcase that in the photos. That way also the buyer would kind of know how to unfold it and get it back together whenever it arrived to them. The buyer was all in at $130. I charged $95 for the unit and $30 shipping. Do not pass up these wooden valet racks. I promise they're not that hard to ship, and they're worth 80 to 100 dollars every time this next sale was super fun these are actually vintage noma blow mold bubble lights yes they are happy faces i found these in a state sale for two dollars a piece my buyer is all in for one strand at 157 dollars and change these did take a little while to sell but they're super easy to ship and worth over a hundred dollars when i saw this suzanne summers facial toning system at my thrift store for only five dollars i had to investigate i realized it was brand new had never been opened and guys my buyer is all in on this five dollar pickup for 187 dollars and it took less than a month to sell at that price if you're not familiar with christopher radco ornaments get familiar this one is part of the portrait santa collection it's from 2005 and guys i didn't even sell it around christmas time i just sold this in march the buyer is all in for this one christmas ornament at 212 dollars i have sold so many christopher radco ornaments over $200 for one ornament, $300 for some of the ornaments. The portrait Santa and the portrait stocking collections are super important, absolute major bolo, and look for the tree toppers as well. Christopher Radko, commit it to memory, do not forget it. Here's one I paid way too much for at auction, but I was so excited when it came up at auction. I paid $75 or $80 for this, which I'm admitting was way too much because it's an incomplete G.I. Joe set. I put it up for auction. I got one bid. The buyer is all in at $219 for this incomplete vintage G.I. Joe set. Look for those G.I. Joe play sets. They can be worth seriously big money. I have another one in my store right now, also at auction, starting out at $199. I expect to get every bit of that for that one as well. Goodwill is not my go-to for sourcing. I don't really shop there a whole lot because we don't have one in our town. So don't think that if you don't live in a big city, you can't work and do exactly what it is I'm doing. We literally don't even have a Goodwill here. But I was at Goodwill this day I saw an employee coming from the back holding this item and I thought that is something special I followed him until he set it down and when he set it down another lady picked it up I was horrified I I stood there patiently waiting for her to set it back down and I snatched this thing up I had no idea even what it was but it just looked so cool so intricate I discovered real quickly that it carouseled around and it opened up on the sides I thought what in the world does this thing hold it's gonna blow your mind guys it's the most intricate and elaborate and musical cigarette case. Would you believe that after I took a best offer, I sold this for $224 from a $4 investment. If it looks strange, if it looks odd, if it's cheap enough, pick it up and research it later. I am so glad I picked this up for $4. I was at a collector's estate sale auction and they had some amazing vintage mid-century pieces. When this little red riding hood hole set came up, a few of the pieces were broken in the collection and immediately a lot of the buyers were out. I still saw the potential here and I was able to secure, I think four or five different canisters for just $50. I sold this one tea canister. It's whole brand, it's little red riding hood. Memorize this little red riding hood sitting atop of canisters because if you ever see it, remember, my buyer for this one piece was all in at $287. What do I have in this? 12 bucks? Try to see the potential in a lot, even with a few broken pieces. 
And if you do find a piece that's broken, those will sell as well. I'm sure even the pieces that are broken that I got in this collection, I'm going to be able to part out and make more than my money back. I'll admit, when I saw this next item at my thrift store, I was a little intimidated because it's quite a large item. It's a full-size cash register, but they only wanted $20 for it, and I know you can't buy a cash register for $20. So I ran comps real quickly. I didn't have this thing listed a month before it sold. Buyers all in at $298. I don't really know anything about cash registers. I looked everything up online. I plugged it in. I tested it with the key, and I described any defects in the description almost $300 for a $20 pickup like no wonder I can do this for a living I've saved my best two items as my last two items and please if these two items blow your mind hit the like consider subscribing to the channel because if you want to do this if you want to do this as a side hustle if you want to do this as your full-time job like I do you're going to need a little bit of mentorship and mine is 100% free here I'm never gonna charge you to tell you about these items that I pick up to tell you how to work eBay how to work whatnot it's all free here I'm just just wanting to educate you so you can stay at home raising your own kids the same way that I do. So subscribe if that sounds like something you're interested in. Here we go. The best two flips so far this year. This next item is a cassette tape. I know you weren't expecting a cassette tape. Stop passing them up. Guys, I came across a lot of sealed cassette tapes about a year ago and lots of them were like 90s rap music. If you're unfamiliar, vintage rap music on cassette can be big money. But it can be even bigger money if it's the right artist and if it's sealed. And this one checked off all of those boxes. Guys, it's a Liquid Swords GCA. I know nothing about this artist, but I've learned a lot from you guys who have told me about them and from people on eBay potential buyers even educating me about this cassette tape. Apparently it's like Wu-Tang before they were Wu-Tang, which has a huge following. Major props to them. I am just unfamiliar with the music. That just goes to show you, you don't have to know everything about what you're selling because when I saw this thing for a quarter, I knew that it was going to be big money. You heard me right. I picked this up for 25 cents. Are you ready to hear after a year? Because I sat on it. I, I went through so many offers. People making me lowball offers on it. Some people offered me over $250 for this thing. I sat on it. I waited for the right buyer because it's this big. It wasn't taking up much space and I only had a quarter invested in it. I wasn't trying to recoup my capital very very quickly my buyer is all in for three hundred and ninety six dollars on this almost four hundred dollars for a 25 cent investment and just when I think what could be better than that wait until you see what's in the number one spot <laughs> There is no other job like this. It's why I stay so excited about it. It's why I want you to know about flipping and reselling. Is This is my second place flip. Just imagine what I have for you next. There I was at my normal estate sale auction house and they had a lot of magazines on a table. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of magazines. People were picking up Time Life magazines by the stack and they were paying 60, 80, even $100 for a stack of these magazines. Well, everyone had pilfered through and picked their choice magazines there were just a few stragglers left on the table and the auctioneer said who will give me ten dollars for everything left on the table now I was not looking to come home with any magazines I hadn't even bid on any but for ten dollars I could see the value there so I bid ten dollars and I got the table of magazines. it amounted to two full suitcases of magazines that I toted out of the auction house that day and I decided I would just take those over to whatnot and that way I would be able to liquidate them very very quickly and sell them off starting price three dollars a piece the majority of the magazines came from the 30s to the 50s and many of them were look magazines. I did want to ensure I wasn't selling an absolute gold mine starting at three dollars on whatnot because I know my price is gonna be lower over there so I did a quick search on eBay I typed in a vintage look magazine I filtered by sold and then I filtered those and sorted highest to lowest I wanted to know what is the highest priced look magazine that is sold within the last 90 days and this one magazine scene popped up as two sold comps and I thought I have to remember that one because both of the sold comps were so astronomically high. While I was doing the auction, what do you know, in that stack of Look Magazine, I pulled, I listed this magazine and it sold on eBay within an hour. The buyer is all in at $538. I might have a few pennies in this magazine. From a few pennies to $538, it sold within an hour. I took a couple photos of it. 
I told you the minimal amount of research I did on it. Guys, over $500 for one magazine? The magazine is a very important, extremely rare, and features a very important historical article. I've done a short on my YouTube channel here about it if you want to know the full story about the magazine. But again, it was taking a chance on an item that no one else at the auction wanted and then being willing to do a little bit of research on it and, and put in the work and effort of listing the item. My total buy cost for every item I just described to you was $145.29. I turned that into $2,654.49. Now the figures that I gave you are the buyer's all-in cost. That means that this cost includes what they paid for the item, what they paid to ship the item, and any fees or taxes that eBay collected. The $2,654 is the gross and not the net. Out of that, I do pay eBay fees, I have to buy my shipping labels, and I take out my cost of goods. So while I was able to multiply the money 18 times, that's not necessarily what I took home. Home. And these are the top sales, but on average, I'm able to make 10 times my money on most every item that I pick up, and that is living in my very small town with three stoplights. You do not have to live in a big city for this. In fact, sometimes I think the smaller the city, the better, because there aren't a whole lot of resellers around here. My point is, no matter where you are, no matter what you do for a living, you do have time to do this. I'm a busy wife and mom of two children. I coach my kids' sports. I run this YouTube channel. I have a whatnot channel. I'm on eBay. I'm on Poshmark. There will never be enough hours in the day if you let your excuses own you. So own your excuses. If you've been thinking about reselling as a side hustle or a full-time gig, this is your sign. Get started today. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. God bless. And remember, treat your business like your business.